What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of YBI Outdoors. It's your boy Billy. So today we're just gonna be doing a little spring haul of the stuff that we've been gathering for the past week and month. Uh, we're just prepping for the open water right now. So with that said, I got some banger stuff, but first you guys gotta like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to comment something down below. It's something that I should try this spring for bass, white bass, or just anything in general. And let me know what you guys enjoyed from this video. So first we got the rods. Let's go through the rods and then we'll start breaking them to the tackles and stuff like that. But for spinning gear, I have the new uh, Mega Bass Roshi Double X uh, Whip Snake. This is a 611 medium action power rod. Um, and I have it paired with the 2500 Stratic FL. Um, it's so nice. And I can't wait to take it out tomorrow actually for you guys to uh, check out. But I might not be able to get to use it. Uh, probably my girlfriend will be using this. But yeah, this is the new Whip Snake. This is gonna be my new drop shot rod. Can't wait to use it for the season. Along with that, another Mega Bass Orochi Double X. Uh, I have the 72 Perfect Pitch. This is gonna be my jigging rod. I'm most likely gonna be throwing uh, floral on this, and we're gonna be catching a lot of fish with this rod. I'm gonna be throwing a lot of mag drafts with this rod. So yeah, check that out. These accents are beautiful. And I have all these rods covered in uh, U40 uh, cork seal. And now the rod that you guys have been waiting for. This is the Shimano X Pride B casting. This is in the 72 heavy model. And as you guys can see, uh, not much has changed, but you guys can see, this is the new uh, handle. This is the monocoque handle that they added from the Poison Adrena. And it's quite sensitive. I'm super excited to use this rod for open water. And I actually picked up a reel. This is the Corrado MGL 150. And super excited, gonna be pairing it up, maybe with this rod or not, I'm not quite sure yet. But we do have this pulled up with 20 pound uh, Seaguar and Vizix. And we'll probably be using this rod down in Iowa in two weeks, so make sure to stay tuned for that video. But yeah, we got the new Corrado MGL uh, 150. This is a beautiful reel, it's super smooth. All right, so now I got that out of the way, let's move towards uh, hard baits. Uh, metal baits and then we'll move towards soft plastics and then terminals so i'm really excited about these jerk baits that i recently just got this is the x nanahan this is in the lz uh it's a long one but i'm not quite sure what it's called but these are the x nanahans these are in 75 millimeter and they're about two and a half to three inches long and these these colors are just amazing man these are gonna be white bass colors these are gonna be these are gonna be just good all around for every species i got them in three colorways that one was LZ something. And then this one is Edo Morocco. It's a beautiful color, translucent colorway, kind of minnow type. And this is like my favorite. This is the Kasumi Edo. This is one of the best colorways I have like in any like mega bass jerk baits. I have this one in a, a junior too, uh, a 110 junior and I love it. These are just gonna be amazing when we're targeting um, all sorts of fish. Uh, these are gonna be shallow. So they're gonna dive roughly to like four to six feet for me. But yeah, these are the X Nanny Hand 75 millimeter. Next on the list, we got, we bought some Mega Bass uh, Dino Response uh, um, blade baits. Um, here's one of them. This one's a black and gold. It's a beautiful colorway. The only downside that about these is I've had these and every time I fished them, this, the back treble will get like all tangled up and it just ruined the movement for that, but I don't know. Let me know how you guys retrieve them. But here's another colorway. This is gonna be perfect for white bass and just other stuff like that. This is a beautiful colorway. This can be, uh, we're gonna be cold water fishing too. So hopefully these large mouth and small mouth are chasing those. So I also bought some rooster tails. I bought them in a quarter ounce. Uh, I got them in white. And then I also bought them in this blaze orange. Funny story, uh, one of my buddies, Austin, his girlfriend caught a four, almost a five pound smallie on this. So he told me to give it a shot. I'm gonna give it a shot. This is just a blaze orange. And hopefully we catch them in South Dakota or just in general this year, cause we're gonna have a lot of fun. And, but yeah, these are just the basic go-tos uh, for white bass. Uh, we also have uh, Mimic Minnows. I bought probably like a good dozen pack or so. Um, these are quarter ounce. These are like one of the go-tos for white bass as well. But 
we bought a couple of other stuff to branch off of the Mimic Minnow. We bought some Kitex. We got the Easy Shiner 3 inches. We also have the Jackal Rhythm Waves that I recently purchased. These are brand new and I've never tried them before, but they're pretty cool. I have I bought some uh, Gamagatsu Round Ball Heads. These are the Jig Heads. I've been trying to find some type of Jig Head that had a, uh, a good hook keeper and we're gonna test these out. I don't know if they're good or not, but I already rigged some up and this is how they're gonna look on the, uh, this is the Easy Shiner. This is in the IU colorway. So we're gonna be throwing this for white bass definitely, for smallmouth and everything. We have the Electric Shad. This is another one that I'm excited for. And then this is the Rhythm Wave that uh, we talked about. This is probably gonna be more of a finesse swim bait probably that we're gonna be using. But yeah, we also bought some Mega Bass Hazanong Shads and actually bought a colorway that I've never used before, but uh, the Hazanong Shads are one of my favorite uh, drop shot baits, especially the ones in the Scuppernog colorway. But yeah, they're just a little small finesse profile swim bait. I usually would just nose hook it, but I think this year I'm gonna do a different uh, hooking. I'm gonna buy like those longer shank hooks and thread it through and kind of just use it like a Texas rig uh, drop shot. But other than that, that's the Hazardong. We also bought some flatworms. We got the flatworms, the Maxent flatworms. Uh, I've used a couple of them before. Um, they've been okay, but I haven't actually used them uh, for largies or anything because I bought them late season. But these are the Green Pumpkin uh, Maxent flatworms. And I've heard that these will do some damage. So we bought them to test out. We also bought some flukes. We got a green pumpkin fluke. I did good on the river while using those uh, white flukes. So we're gonna test out these green pumpkin flukes. I know these will catch fish. Uh, we just bought them because they're gonna be fun to use. We also grabbed some Senkos. We're gonna be doing a lot of uh, wacky rigging. We're gonna be uh, dropping them in different patches of lily pads. But I bought two colorways. I bought the black and blue, which is not too special, but this is the trout colorway. This is a pretty cool colorway. We get the green and then we get the pink on the bottom with some black uh, specks or whatever. But yeah, this is gonna be cool. We're gonna be dangling this on a wacky rig and it's gonna be pretty fun. This is the mosquito uh, light uh, hooks. I like to use the size one hooks. These hooks just give me enough um, like gap between here to drop shot. And these are like probably one of my favorite like just drop shot or just hooks in general that I'm gonna be using this year. And I used these last year and they did really good for me. All right, and then I got some line that, it's not too special, but we got uh, FC Sniper seven pound. This is gonna be for my finesse. Um, mostly gonna use this for a leader probably. And yeah, seven pound finesse drop shot. We got 65 pound braid. Uh, this is the Power Pro SV2, SV2. SV2, that's a mega bass spinner bait. But we got the V2 Super Slick. And we're gonna be using this for punching. We're gonna be punching a lot. We're gonna do a lot of finesse fishing and punching. We're gonna do a lot of power fishing this year. And we also got 20 pound uh, Sea Garden Visix. This just gonna be for jigging. Hopefully we catch a lot of fish this year. So with that said, I think it's gonna be a really good day tomorrow. It's gonna be around 60 degrees. So we're gonna head down to the Fairbolt area. We're gonna check it out. Hopefully we catch some fish for you guys. So with that said, stay tuned and See you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, we made it to the first spot. Uh, nobody here on this little pool side but there's people on the dam side so we're gonna try this out do a couple casts if nothing happens we'll move towards the dam all right guys we got here i'm gonna have jen throw a little uh ball head jig head with a little swim bait this is the jackal rhythm wave that i talked about she's gonna throw this around and then i'm gonna throw around the popper she's using the whip snake that i recently just got and then i'm gonna be throwing a little wrap of popper i'm gonna go on this side
we'll probably move down towards the dam. We we'll probably have a higher chance of catching fish, probably. All right, guys, we made it to the other side. We're gonna fish the lake side that this has ice, and then we'll move towards the dam. But we're gonna fish this spot. Last time, Josh caught a little pike on the other side over there, so there might be fish around here too. But we're not looking for pike, we're looking for white bass. And hopefully these little white bass are active somewhere. But it doesn't look like it right now. Alright guys, we made it to the last spot. We're at the Fairball Dam as you guys can see. Uh, here's how it's looking. There's no current right now. Usually there's a lot of current, but there's no current running. Hopefully these fish are just staged up and looking for some food, but... We're gonna try to catch some fish for you guys. I know we haven't caught anything, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this is gonna be out. Uh, it's nice weather, so stay tuned and hope we catch some fish for you guys. All right, guys. We're gonna be throwing just a little um, cast master right here. Just gold. Water's kind of stained, so should be pretty good. We're just gonna kind of work this like a little jerk bait because it's gonna just flash, flash like this. It looks like a dying uh, shad or something. Please, something picks it up. Oh, no way. Uh, boy. Oh, I caught a little baby catfish. Look at that, guys. You got one? You actually got one? No way. We just doubled up. Look at that, guys. Little baby catfish. That's a good fish. Ooh, you caught a buffalo. You actually caught a buffalo. It's a small buffalo. It is a small buffalo. He actually bit it too. Look at that, guys. Oh my god. Look at that. Do they bite? No, they got no. It's like carp. Is it a carp? It's almost like a carp. It's a buffalo. It's their brothers. Can you want a picture? Bing. No. This is a baby. Hey, we doubled hey. up. Bam. Got one? Bullhead. It's like a catfish. Oh, how cute. Tiny boy. Alright guys, so that's gonna wrap up today's video. Make sure to stay tuned, comment, like, and subscribe. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and make sure to drop a comment down below uh, what you've enjoyed about this video, what I should use uh, for springtime, and just stuff like that. Make sure to stay tuned, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.